Yo, what's going on boys? Today I'm going to be playing this really spammy Log Bay Wallbreakers deck, so if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I'm in my first match here, I'm also facing Log Bay right now, but this guy could have the Little Prince for the Princess. Also, just about everybody on top ladder is playing the Little Prince right now, so I wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, not just top ladder, I feel like the whole player base is just playing the new card right now. It's super fun, it is broken, but super fun though, so I don't blame anyone. Gonna pop my ability here to kind of keep it alive and then just gonna wallbreakers on the left. I'm gonna log on the princess because I can defend the barrel with the goblins and I also want the wallbreaker connection. Okay, he played a log on it, so I'm not gonna get it, but I'm gonna arches on defense here. Kind of a bad night because he was already down elixir by a little bit to begin with, but now he kind of fed into my archers, so that was some pretty nice value. Wait, I'm gonna goblin barrel on the right to bait out the goblin gang and then just gonna wallbreakers on the left because I don't think he's gonna be able to get back to a log on time. Okay, he's back to it now, but he had like two elixir on the dot, so I don't think he wanted to play it. Just kind of ate the connection. I'll take that. Good game sense by me, though. I knew that he wasn't back to a log, so just kind of went wallbreakers on the left, and I was able to get damage. I do have to be kind of careful, though. I know that he's back to Evo Knight and the Princess, so he could just go for like the classic log bay move, just play it at the bridge. I know I'm down two elixir right now, so I'm going to put my ice spirit down. Okay, plays it in the back, so I don't really have to worry about the Princess too much. I'm not going to Litter Prince in the back, though he could rocket it. So I'm going to split my archers and then just going to try and put it all the way up high. I'm going to put it like on the side over here so I defend the princess. And then could also kind of pressure on the left, but the Evo Knight might kind of give me some trouble. So I'm going to try and defend here. Going to pop my ability. Okay, that was a really good ability because it's going to um, stop the knight from walking. And then the Litter Prince is going to DPS it down. That might even completely die. Yeah, it died. What the hell? Gonna log right now. That's some crazy DPS on it though. Gonna Ice Spirit, then I'm gonna Litter Prince in the middle to snipe it out. Oh, what? Okay, I guess I misplaced it. I should have played it like one higher, but just go for the log as well. So I'm gonna Evo Archers. Wish I didn't have to waste my Evo Archers that early, but it is what it is. Had to defend the Princess. I'm gonna go for the Wall Breakers with this because I knew that he wasn't gonna be able to log. And he's still not back to log, by the way. Yo, okay. <laughs> Double connection. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy's not defending well at all. See what he does here though. I know that he's not back to barrel. He had to play it on defense and those died to the wall breakers too. So I'm gonna go for goblins on the right to defend the goblin gang. Then I'm gonna go for a barrel. Not gonna pop my ability to tank for the barrel though, because I know that he has a log in cycle. I'm gonna go for ice spear at the middle. Gonna archers in the middle and then just gonna try to go for goblins. He probably wanted to goblin gang behind it, assuming that I would want to pull it back with the wall breakers, but I had the archers defending the knight and I wasn't going to try and pull it back because I knew that he was going to predict the wall breakers. So just a bit of mind games right there, but gonna little prince in the middle to take out the knight. Yo, he lost. Wait, that was a really bad rocket right there. Okay, he's going to princess. I'm going to goblin spade out the log and then I'll spam the left lane. He can't log on defense and then I'm going to prediction log on the goblin gang. Oh, he didn't even have enough elixir. <laughs> that was so good. Nice, that was actually so good. I knew that he was going to log on the right, so I kind of spammed the left and won the game. Okay, I'm in my next match here. Facing Bad Trip, see what deck he's playing. I'm going to go for the Barrel Ice Spirit. I think I faced this guy on like League 9, but I forgot what deck he was playing. I'm trying to remember. Could have been like... Could have been Graveyard, but Bowler probably means E-Giant, so... Gonna try to play some good defense with the ability, push the E-Giant back, and then try to DPS it down with the Goblins or something. I'm going to put it in the middle right now, though, to defend the Bowler. Okay, you know what, guys? I'm feeling like a logbait player right now, so I'm going to overcommit with a rocket. Just going to spam my rocket right off the bat. Six for um, three trade. Oh, well, now it's a six for six. Nice. Thank you, man. Pop the ability into the rocket. <laughs> oh, my God. That was so terrible. I don't know what he was thinking there. He just kind of put it straight into my rocket. Like, he didn't even bother to, like, pop it, like, a second earlier or just not pop it at all. Just, like, save the elixir, but I guess not. I'm not complaining, though. I'll take my trade. Gonna go for a barrel on the tower. Gonna put it on the safe spot because now that I know he's playing graveyard. Um, okay, I thought he had a tornado, but he has arrows. That's not good news though because my defense for the graveyard is gonna be goblins and archers. And if he has arrows, it's gonna give fab value. So I'm gonna have to kind of think of ways to bait it out on offense. So that way I can defend a graveyard without having to take a lot of damage. Also guys, there's a glitch with the archers right now where um they actually lock on like the same skeleton from the graveyard. I don't know if it's going to happen here, but I hope it happens like late game so I can actually show you guys what I'm talking about. They actually lock on one skelly and then they don't defend the graveyard like as well as they used to. It's pretty annoying, but if you play archers in your deck, then you just kind of have to expect it and then over defend the graveyard. I mean, that's like the only way of getting out of it in my opinion, but I don't know. It could be different ways as well. 
Also, guys, like I hate how Supercell never actually comes out with an update without a bug. Like this season, they have another um, clone bug where if you clone the ability or clone and pop the ability on the Litter Prince at the same time, the second Guardian, like the cloned Guardian is not going to be cloned. It's actually going to be the real one. So, yeah, you're just going to have like two Guardians walking down the lane. Pretty unfortunate, but hopefully they fix it, though. It's been a day and I'm pretty sure they haven't fixed it. Yo, that was a really good log. Wait, connect. Oh, and it took out the Little Prince, but I'm going to pop my ability here. Okay, let me pop it right now. Okay, that should tank for my goblins. Oh, that was a good buller. Yikes. I was hoping he wouldn't buller there, but that was a good buller, though. Okay, he's back to Evil Knight, so I might take a lot of damage here. Kind of have to watch out. I'm going to put the goblins down low. I know that he's going to air us. So I'm going to have to Little Prince and then just going to log in front because a lot of skellies are kind of spawning in in the front. I'm going to arch is like 10 miles away, so they do the max damage. Oh, one of them walked away. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. I took one buller hit, though. Kind of got lucky, but... It's fine, I think. Just gonna go for Goblin Barrel Wall Breakers and then just gonna log right now. Yo, that might be connection. Oh, it goes for Inferno Tower. Okay, I kinda have to come back now. I'm down like a lot of damage. I'm gonna Litter Prince in the back. Opposite lane so he can't like poison the same lane and get a lot of value. I'm gonna go for a Barrel. I feel like he might be able to Bowler that though. Yeah, let's go for the Bowler. Bowler pretty annoying. I can't get damage if he plays a Bowler well. So just gonna Rocket on the Bowler and... Hope that he doesn't go in right now. I'm going to barrel. But if I barrel, he might not be able to go in because he's going to have to defend it. And I get damage with it. Nope, never mind. He had to play the knight though. So on the bright side, he can't go in right now. I'm going to goblins on that. Oh no, I didn't think he was going to pop the ability. No, that's the opposite lane. Why would you pop the ability there? <laughs> what the hell, man? Okay, whatever. That was a good ability that I can't lie. But I'm just going to log on defense here. And he got a lot of damage on the left lane too. So I kind of have to come back from this. Uh, Barrel Ice Spirit to bait out whatever. Okay, wait, Buller and uh, Litter Prince. I'm gonna rock it right now, hit both, maybe? Oh yeah, I definitely hit both. Okay, wait, pop my ability here to keep the knight on his side so it doesn't cross and then he can't go in. If he does go in, that'd be horrible because I can just kind of archers on the side. I just hope that the archers don't do like the weird um, hitting one skelly thing and sell the game here. Nah, they defended well, so I'm gonna Barrel and that should be game, so... I'll take the win. Kind of a nice comeback right there. I mean, I was winning for a little bit, but then I choked on the right and then also kind of choked on the left, but then turned it around, so I'll take the win. Okay, I'm in my next match here. Oh, this guy always BMs me and he always has a counter deck to me. This guy plays like really fast cycle minor decks, so gonna have to watch out. Minor poison definitely counters me if he has a log, but hopefully not though. Already played a minor, so I know that it's gonna be a minor poison deck, but yeah, I don't like this. Gonna goblin barrel. Probably have a log too. He's probably playing the wall breakers deck. Oh, tornado. Wait, what? NATO minor knight could be, huh? Could be balloon. Nah, he's just playing minor poison cycle with double spirit. I feel like, yeah, it's definitely going to be that deck. Okay. So wait, wait a second. I'm up a lot right now. What if I just go ice spirit? Then I go goblins here. He's going to have to knight on this. He's only a seven elixir right now. Okay. He's at three, maybe four. Now he has the tornado. Wait, I'm going to pop my ability here and then go wall breakers. He can't defend this. He actually can't defend this, I don't think. Yeah, that should be game because he can't defend it. Oh, that was so good. No, wait, tower trade. No, that was smart. Yikes, my pressure was good, but then that was also smart. He's going to pop the ability on it now and then just take out my tower. Wait, is it going to take my tower though? I don't think it will. It's going to do a lot of damage for sure, but definitely not going to take out my tower. Arches on the side. With that miner down there, that might take it down to a poison range. Oh, never mind. It's actually going to put it at 524. So if I catch like all the miners for the next minute and a half, I might be able to win. But I know that he's going to poison with it too. So who am I kidding? I'm definitely not going to be able to catch miners and just win. But I'm going to go for uh, Little Prince like over here so he can. But actually going to goblins in the middle first. If I pull these in the middle and then go opposite lane Looter Prince, he can't poison that, but he can Tornado, though. I don't want to pop my ability. Yeah, I was kind of expecting the Tornado, so I did not want to pop the ability, but I'm going to Arches on defense, and my tower's still looking pretty nice. Um, I'm going to go Barrel Wall Breakers. I don't know how to get damage. I feel like this is my only shot at getting damage, but I don't know. going to be tough. going to Goblins on the Miner to save my tower. Okay, kind of saved it. Also, he has a Cannon. That's unfortunate. You can sack the cannon every time for my wall breakers or just kind of set it up on defense and then, I don't know, get a lot of value with it. I'm going to log right now. 
Knight should die. Kind of a bad knight. Gonna wall breakers as well. Gonna go for goblins on the miner. No, I failed to catch it. It's gonna be tower down. Okay, um, gonna have to try to take out the other side. Matchup pretty awful on this spot because at this point, like, he doesn't even need a log to full defend me. He can just kind of electro spirit tornado or something to defend my barrels and stuff. I'm gonna rock it though. That was kind of a bad little prince. I don't know why he would put it like that. That was kind of bad, but see what he does here. I know that he's back to evil knight right now, so I'm gonna have to watch out. Gonna wall breakers. Okay, and then just gonna go for oh, kind of a bad knight pop ability and then go arches down low okay gonna goblin barrel uh i could rocket that i could have rocketed too late now though i'm not gonna rocket that i can't even hit it now it's gonna walk away but does go for a electro spirit i'm gonna goblin here and then try to go for evil arches down low take out that miner right now oh that was such a good snipe on the archers I'm gonna go for uh wall breakers and then that thing's gonna take out my archers but wait one of them might connect yo i got the connection okay I'm winning by like 1400 damage right now, so I just have to keep this up. Just have to defend the miner and then try to keep spamming so I get damage. Pop my ability, kind of a bad night once again. Uh, goblins, ooh, caught the miner. This guy's always playing the miner on the safe spot because keep in mind that he's not going to want to let the miner lock on, get locked on by the king tower because he needs damage right now, like a lot of it too. So he's not going to want to put it in the back or anything. Always going to want to put it on the safe spot, but... Just because of that, it's going to be so easy for me to catch it. I'm going to wall breakers right now and then going to go for... I don't want to goblins, actually. He could try to go for, like, something funny on it. I'm going to let the miner go. I'm going to goblin barrel on the tower and then go goblins on the looter prince. Going to log it back so it dies so he can't pop the ability on time. Yo, he ignored my barrel? What? That was so bad. Okay, my wall breakers are not going to make it because the king tower is going to help out. But I'm going to evil archers and then that should take out the knight because they're pretty far away. And then I'm going to goblin barrel. And that should be game. I'll BM this guy a little bit because I don't like this guy. This guy BMs me a lot with a lot of counters, so kind of got my get backs right now. But just going to play one more game, so I'll see you when I find a game. Just going to hop right in. Going to put me at top 23. Okay, on to my last match here. I'm facing Splash Shard, so I know that Splash Shard is supposed to be like a bad matchup for Logbait, but right now I have Archers and Goblins in my deck, so... I don't think it's that bad. I just have to kind of be careful with the Baby Dragon because I don't actually have like a mini tank to block it with. But as long as I keep it away from my tower so he can't tornado or anything, I'll be fine. So I'm going to Arches in the back to cycle. See what he does here. Okay, Little Prince in the back. I want to try to get back to my rocket and just take that out, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to Prince in the back as well. He's probably going to try to poison on it. Okay, wait, he had to Knight on the one Elixir Ice Spirit, so that's not good at all. Let's go for the poison. Kind of like a lot of Elixir spent right there. I'm going to Wallbreakers in the back. I leaked for a little bit, but kind of had to leak there gonna log and then just gonna goblins on the knight to keep my wall breaker healthy yo what oh the knight just kind of looked around and then hit my wall breaker for no reason but all good though um still up by a little bit but i don't know how to punish him i'm gonna barrel he's gonna bar barrel on it okay i'm still up elixir by like three but i don't know what to do I'm gonna little prince in the back he's not back to poison right now so definitely not gonna be able to poison on that Gonna wall breakers once the tombstone dies, like right now. I'm gonna ice spirit with it too, so I hit the baby dragon and then possibly get the one connection. No, what the hell? Bro, that's so unfortunate. It hopped on the one skelly on the left for some reason, but just gonna pop my ability here and then go goblins. Yo, he missed the tornado on one of my goblins. Okay, pretty bad goblins by me because I thought that he was gonna be focused on defense and like not pop the ability, but. He got the ability off on time, so that was kind of bad goblins, but honestly not too bad though. I have plenty of time to get my damage back. Took some from that litter prince, but I've got plenty of time to make up for it, so. See what he does here. Well, the archers are gonna stay on there and kind of snipe out the skellies on the other side. Yo, one of the archers locked on. I'm gonna wallbreakers on the left and then go. Little prince gonna pop my ability here, so the big guy tanks for the tiny guy, and then I'm just gonna kind of barrel. Try to get back to my ice spear, gonna put it on the baby dragon. He's gonna bar barrel on it. I'm gonna archers. Uh, I don't know how to get damage here. I feel like he can defend every single one of my pushes, but I also can defend his pushes. So it's gonna be hard to get damage for both of us. Goblins in the back. Okay, barrel on the safe spot. Gonna log in the middle. Okay, gonna wall breakers with the two. Yo, damage. Okay, I'll take that. Wait, maybe the wall breakers might make it. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. That's so good. That's actually so good. I can win the game now. Gonna Little Prince in the middle. Anyway, opposite lane, so I'm gonna go for Ice Spirit. Just gonna log right now as well. 
back to my evil arches. I'm gonna put them down like this, so I think for the prince and oh my god, that did like 1500 damage on my tower. The skellies actually spawned in so quick. What the hell? I right, know where he's down. Definitely gonna be able to come back here. Hopefully, yo, the archer getting a lot of value on the right. I'm gonna barrel again. Okay, he had to litter prince on it, so definitely not the best cycle for him. Yo, he missed a goblin again. He's been missing my goblins like every single time. What the hell? He misses like one goblin on the side too. That looks so funny, but I'm gonna go for a litter prince on the side, take out the baby D, and then just gonna go for ice spear. I'm gonna pop my ability to keep it on the other side. Keep it on his side here. Oh my god, wall breaker. Let's go. Okay, that's uh two logs and a rocket range. So I just have to log here and then try to go back to my second log. I think he gave up though. Yeah, okay, so I'll take the win. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'm going to play some sort of different deck next video, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.